Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida firefighter here with Drone Nerds. And today we're gonna take a look at how the M3T drone does in a live fire scenario. I have teamed up with one of our local fire colleges and we are going to light this building on fire behind me. And we're gonna take a look at how this drone actually sees the firefighters on the fire ground. And of course, the rooms itself through the thermal imaging camera. Stay tuned. So behind me, we have a two-story concrete block structure, and we're gonna take a look at how the firefighters look moving around the fire ground. Okay, as you can see, they just lit one of the rooms on fire, so it's gonna heat up, and then they're gonna send the students in, and we're gonna get the drone in the air. Here we go. Okay, as you can see, I'm approaching the building now, and now I split to a split screen thermal on the camera. And here we go, approaching with a different thermal color palette. We have the black hot and we just moved to the white hot and you can see the firefighters make an entry into the building and clearly see them going in. Here's the building doing an orbit and then we switch to the black hot color palette. Now in this one, this is side delta. A firefighter is making his way to put another palette in and for showing or viewing purposes, I changed the color palette. Here the guys are getting ready to make entry again. I'm switching color palettes for example purposes. The door is open and you can look and see the hose line inside the hallway and the guys making their way in and actually pulling the hose line. Here's a split screen again. On the right, you have the guys making entry with very limited visibility, and on the left, you can see them inside the building. This is a big advantage for the incident command to actually keep track of his firefighters and also monitor safety on the fire ground. Okay, we have the split screen again, and you have the firefighter assisting with pulling the hose line in the building. You have the smoke coming out on the right, and you can clearly see inside the structure. Now I just have straight thermal color palette. I'm reversing from the scene. Again, they're on the second story making entry of this structure. So they were making entry again, and even through all the smoke going in, you can clearly see them into the first room, advancing hose, and then down with the stairwell um, on pretty much all the color palettes. Okay, again, we have uh, black hot, and then I just switched to white hot. We have our split screen on the M3T drone. Here's a side view. You have the firefighters on the second story getting ready to make entry. That's a firefighter coming out on the Delta side for viewing purposes. And he's just adding, uh, one of the instructors adding a pallet in, inside. And you can see on the right hand side, you can hardly see in the room. And here's a little orbit. And then again, we have the side view on division two of the structure, second story. Okay, they just made entry again and I'm on the white hot color palette and you can clearly see as they go in the smoke. Now I'm gonna switch to black hot. There's the black hot. They're making their way into the building on the second floor and then down the stairs while they're advancing the hose line. So I think this M3T drone did an excellent job around the fire to help monitor their conditions in and even outside the structure. Once again, this is a concrete block structure that they have metal doors to simulate a fire. On a real structure, we'd probably be seeing in a window or a door even better than what we saw with the thermal color palettes on this drone. This has been Mike with Drone Nerds featuring how the M3T drone can help monitor those overall conditions on the fire ground. Anytime we have police officers, first responders, and firefighters on a live fire situation, this drone is a great asset or tool to help keep us safe by monitoring the inside and the outside conditions. If you have any further questions, contact us at experts at dronenerds.com or leave that comment below. Once again, I'm Mike. Stay safe. Happy flying. Have a nice day.